Ready? It's a dog. Dog. No, no, no. Full sentence. It's a dog. Dog. No, full sentence, sweetheart. It's a dog. Dog. It's a dog. It's a dog. No. <laughs> it's a. It's dog. a dog. It's a dog. 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 Hi, my name is Gemma Perry and welcome to Mooncake ESL Teaching Made Easy. If you're new here then you need to know that I make weekly ESL teaching tip videos to help you improve your English teaching. So if you are teaching ESL abroad make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly ESL teaching tips. Also real quick if you are new here say hi in the comments below and let me know where in the world you're teaching. Now today's video is something a little different. Every week I share game ideas to help you plan some fun and engaging ESL lessons. But I'm not the only teacher with some good ideas. Those of you in the Mooncake community also have some brilliant game ideas and I want to give you the chance to share them in a new segment that I call Community Games. Now how this works is if you've got a great game idea that you'd like to share with the community and possibly have featured on the channel, all you need to do is go to the Mooncake Facebook page and post on the wall. I'll be choosing some of the best games to feature on Community Games. Not only does this give you an opportunity to share your ideas, but it also means the Mooncake Facebook page will become a great resource for teachers looking for game ideas and teaching tips. So don't be shy, share your ideas and help to build a resourceful Mooncake community. So as this is the first Community Games video, I reached out to the ESL community looking for a brilliant teacher with some fantastic ideas and found none other than Mushy from English Teaching Games. Mushy is a fellow YouTuber with loads of game ideas. So make sure you check out his channel linked below after today's video. Today's game is a Mushy special perfect for drilling sentences with students. So without further ado, let's look at today's fantastic ESL game. For this activity, you're not going to need any materials. Start by positioning the class in a semicircle with you, the teacher, in the middle. Next, you can explain to the class that this game involves them sitting down as quickly as possible, and that the slowest to do so will be out. Next, you're going to turn your back to the class, and the whole class are going to ask you the target sentence. Mr. Mushy, Mr. Mushy, can I sit down? Mr. Mushy, Mr. Mushy, can I sit down? At first, you're going to reply to the question with a no, you may not. And so the class are going to ask you once again, Mr. Mushy, Mr. Mushy, can I sit down? Once again, you're going to reply with a no, you may not, and have the whole class ask you again. Once you've built up some suspense, you can reply with yes, you can, at which point all the students need to sit down as quickly as possible. As soon as you say the words, yes, you can, you also need to turn around to see which student was the slowest to sit down. That student then needs to go sit down because they're out and have the whole class stand up again and go again. Keep going again and again until there's only one student left who is crowned the winner. For this version of the game, all you're going to need are some flashcards of the vocabulary you'd like to practice. Start by positioning the class in a semicircle with you, the teacher, in the middle. Once again, you're going to turn your back to the class, only this time you're going to hold up some flashcards above your head facing the students. Next, you're going to ask the class the target question. Is this your dad? Is this your dad? The whole class then need to look at the flashcard. If it's not the flashcard of a dad, then everybody replies with no it isn't. If it is a flashcard of the dad, then they say yes it is and sit down as quickly as possible. As soon as you hear the words yes it is, you need to turn around to see which student is the slowest to sit. That student is then out, everybody stands up and you go again. Keep going until there's only one student left and that student is crowned the winner. Now if your class is quite energetic and you need to calm things down a bit, don't be afraid to change the action that you ask students to do. For example, instead of standing and sitting, you might ask students simply to put their hands on their heads. Think about your class and the best actions for them. If you've got a great ESL game idea and you'd like to be featured on Community Games, then make sure you check out the Mooncake English Facebook page linked below where you can share your idea with the community. Of course, all those games featured on the channel will be credited to those who post. If you like this video, let me know by commenting with the word helpful in the comments below and by sharing with your fellow teachers. If you're looking for more fun ESL games, then make sure you check out some of my other videos right here. That's it for this video, thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, or if you're interested in a Mooncake sweatshirt or mug, you can find them linked below. And of course, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more weekly ESL teaching tips from Mooncake.